I welcome all the doctors present in this session. Thirty-five doctors have joined in, so we'll be taking up this particular session in three parts. So the first part of the session will be containing the basic repertorization skills on radar opus. Second, I'll be taking up the ortega magnetic analysis, and in the third part, we'll be discussing about the Bonning-Gosen polar analysis. And with that, I'll be briefing regarding the Philip Digroot mo modules in the software. So this is the welcome page that you can see on the dar, and this is the interface that you will be able to see on your screen. Let me just quickly zoom in a little for you all. Okay, so this is the interface of radar opus, and you can see that there are few icons at the top. So this is the toolbar, and it has been divided into three parts. So the first part is containing the primary icon, and the first icon on the primary icon toolbar is the repository. Right. So here you can see the repository. So around 22 plus repositories comes in radar. You can see the list, the library of the repositories that we have in the software. You just need to type the names of the repository that you wish to read from. Right now you are able to see Adonis on the right hand side window, and on the left hand side window you can see the list of the repositories. Suppose you wish to read from Ken, so just type K E N. Just the initials are required. And it is there on the right hand side. Similarly, if you wish to read from Borik repository, just the initials, and Borik is there on the right hand side, right? So this is about the repository icon. Below the repositories, you'll be able to find the concept, and with that, we also have families of families. Next to the repository icon, you can find the references. Let me quickly adjust my languages in which I wish to read my book. So I'm just selecting English. Okay, so here you can find 1600 plus books in the reference section. So you can see it's a vast database that has been provided and updated in the software. You can see there is Materia Medica, Keynote, Comparative Materia Medica, Therapeutics, Proving, Journals, Other Therapies, Philosophies, Proceedings and Conferences, History, Biography. Clinical places, dictionaries, and other books are also there. Next to the reference icon, you can find the patient management icon. This is the patient management file where you can store your patient data. And if you wish to create a new patient file, you can just click on the download key and click on create a new patient. And this particular window will pop up asking you if it is a human case or a veterinary case. Then, uh, like. Any hospital or any clinic, you can update the administrative information, and then you can go into the consultation field where you can update the case taking. So let me just quickly take you to the administrative window. So this is the administrative window where you can update the information regarding the patient. Right next to the basic information, general information icon, you can find the. Extended information of the patient icon, where you can update the family information, blood, surgical, past, previous homeopathic treatment, all of that can be updated, and then you can always create invoices in the software. In the consultation field, you will have given you a word document kind of a format where you can do the case taking. Whatever performer you have, you can cut, copy, paste it to the software, or whichever whichever way you like to do it, you can do it. Below is the prescription window where you can update the prescription, and then next to it is the pathology window where you can update the pathology and the trend of the disease, right? And then you can compare the consultations according to the like if if it was first consultation or the second uh, prescription, all that can be compared in a tabular form in this particular icon. With that, you can also update the vaccination information, the advice test information, hospitalization information, and if you want to add some more notes to your patient, that can be done in here. Right next to the patient management file, you will be able to find the remedies you wish to read from. For example, if you wish to read about abrazinum, so you just need to type the initials or the abbreviation of the remedy. So I just type abro for abrazinum. Click on it, and it is there on the right-hand side window. Right now, you are able to see the radar keynotes of the remedy. Next to the keynotes, you can find the families where you can read more about the remedy. For example, if you wish to see uh, related remedies of abrutenum, 
abrogenum follows well by aconite gynia follows well after similar to and so on and so forth you can also see the mysum of the remedy the kingdom multimedia will be showing you the source of the remedy then if you are connected to wifi or internet you can also scroll on internet just by staying on the software this is known as in app build browser and you can see the wikipedia page likewise you can also browse on google right so if you wish to read about the remedy in a particular book or a particular reference what you can do is you can just search for this remedy i'm just going into all references and on the right hand uh, side window you will be able to see the reference book which you wish to read from so i'll just quickly search from nerve comparative materia medica click on nerve and right now you are able to see abrutanum from nerve suppose you wish to read abrutanum from some other source book so let me just type borix and you can see borix pocket manual on the right hand side window right so like this you can search the remedy in other references also then we have the families here you can find the family so you can see there are like 5500 families plus we have given and then we have we have the bookmarks right here you can highlight any important note and you can just save it and you can later onwards read it so this was about the primary icon toolbar that you can see on your screen and next to it is the secondary icon so the first icon is search area this helps you to search your required field in this Then we have given you two types of searches: the simple search and the advanced search. This again will help you to search anything from the database which we have given you. I'll brief you how you can do that in the second part of this session. Then again, search bar quickly. You can search anything in the search bar. Then in the shops, uh, I think you can buy the upgrades and updates and anything that you wish to. You can buy books from this particular icon. Then back and forward will help you to go back and forward in the software. This will show you how you've been working on the software. Then analysis icon will be showing you the analysis sheet, or the reportorial totality of the case. This how it works. I will be explaining in the coming up sessions. Then we have maps. So there are various maps that we have provided. You can go about each map and you can gain more knowledge about each map by reading into these maps and gain more knowledge. And you can apply there these doctors' approaches into your own reportization. Okay, so next to the map, you can find the clinical icon. So it's like a cloud storage. We are working on it. This is not currently available with radar. We are still working on it. Then we have zoom in and zoom out icons, which will help you to adjust the font size. Let me just quickly shut down all the windows. Okay, so zoom in and zoom out will help you to adjust the font size. And then you can print out anything, and you can also take screenshots and save it into your PC. right so this was about the interface and you can see how user friendly it is and how you can manage it uh, tab wise from one tab to another tab this is why it's known as the most user friendly interface so i'm just closing all the windows so that we can move into the second part of the session which is the basic reportization skill so that i have just shut down all the windows and i'm going into my synthesis repository so i'll be working on adonis as it is the latest updated version of synthesis repository by dr shwan fredrick and this is the synthesis adonis repository in front of you on the right hand side window so there are three ways of repertorizing on the software the first one is by using your mouse the second one would be by using your keyboard and the third one would be by using the search engine so if you're working by your mouse so what you have to do is just like old school way you will be going into your uh, repository i have just opened my donis then going into the index for so that i will be clicking on this binocular icon right so here you will be able to see the index of the book that you are viewing on your screen so i'm just going into my skin chapter taking itching as my rubric okay itching is there taking scratching as sub rubric S C scratching and taking aggravation as sub sub rubric and must bleed until scratch. So you can see uh, that we have landed up on our required rubric. The hand is pointing you towards that. 
Now we need to take this rubric into the clipboard. You can find the clipboard in the middle of the left hand side window and the right hand side window. So just click on the required rubric and drag it and drop it over the clipboard and it has been added, right? So we have just added one rubric. Suppose you wish to add this particular rubric also, click, drag and drop. This is how easy it is, right? The second way is by using your keyboard. So you just need to type on your keyboard. For example, if I want to search mind delusion, I'll just type MI on my keyboard and you can see mind chapter is there. Enter on the keyboard and clicking delusion, DLU, just the initials are enough. Enter, see something. Enter, enter, and I have landed up on my required rubric. To take this particular rubric by using your keyboard, you just need to press a plus button. Press the plus button on your keyboard and you can see that the rubric has been already added to the clipboard, right? Now you can also use the search engine. So there is simple search. This is the simple search engine. And then there is the advanced search engine. So both the search engines work in the same manner. You just need to give the command of whatever you are wishing to search. For example, let me just search head. I'm taking pain. Head pain. Let me take frontal headache. Frontal. And then just define your search field. I'm going to search in all robot trees. Okay, so giving the command for head pain frontal and these many repertories are having the rubric for it. Synthesis is having 197 rubrics, whereas Kemp is 18 rubrics, right? So quickly taking a few random rubrics, check mark them and drag them and drop them over the clipboard. I have taken three rubrics and now you can see there are total six rubrics into the clipboard. How? This is the advances as you can see that we have defined the search searches. For example, you can search the words in this particular field, remedies in this field, families, and case chapter pathologies also. So we have divided the search field. So suppose you wish to search cancer. So I'm taking cancer in the word. With that, I'm taking uh, conium mac, right? So conium in the remedy. With conium, I want to see for carcinosin also. So I'm taking carcinosinum also, right? Make sure you're putting the right kind of searches and the right kind of spellings in the search window. Otherwise, you will uh, you won't be getting the results. So I have just given the command for carcinosinum and conium mac for cancer. And let's just quickly search the rubrics of both of the remedies, and you can find the remedies in here. Suppose you wish to see carcinosinum or conium in higher degrees. Right now we are able to see degree one, two, three. Suppose you just want to see in three and four. And let me quickly take rubrics containing more than one remedy. Let me just quickly do exactly one. And let me just search for conium mag in higher degrees. And you can see these many uh, repertories are having the rubric for conium in high degrees, having just conium, right? Simple single remedy rubrics are in front of you for conium in cancer. So this is how you can search uh, your required rubrics in the software. I'm adding them, pressing the plus button on the keyboard, and I have taken my required rubrics into the clipboard. Once you're done taking the rubrics into the clipboard, you click on analysis and the repertorial totality will be in front of you, right? So you can see miserium is coming as a top grade remedy. Clicking on the remedy, you will be able to see the keynotes of the remedy. Similarly, if you'll be clicking on the remedy in the repertory, like I have just clicked on alumina and you can find the keynotes of the remedy, right? So, here you can also adjust the intensity or you can uh, apply more filters. For example, if you wish to see, uh, let me just apply some filters. If you wish to see some of symptoms, some of degrees, just the small specific remedies, you can apply various filters and you can filter your sheet accordingly. For example, if you wish to apply a family, for example, you wish to see no swords, 
only now i have applied the nosod filter and you can see just the nosod in front of you right so this is how you can apply various filters and uh, this is how you can filter out your required information now coming to the repository view we've got lots of repository views in this software which is another usp of radar opus so radar has been updated uh, according to the timeline for example if you go into the pioneer to 1843 view hanneman view according to this you will be able to see the remedies that were proven at the time of hanneman only right so if i go into the millennium progressive view up till the year 2000 all the remedies will be in your sheet and the latest full repository view will be having the all the latest remedies in the sheet so this is how you can uh, filter out your remedies and adjust your settings now coming to the uh, third part of this uh, particular session that is ortega miasmatic analysis and the bonning gosen polar analysis and how you can do the miasmatic analysis in the software and polar analysis as well for that what you need to do is you need to go into your repository whichever repository you are using so i prefer using adonis as it is the latest updated version you need to turn on all the tags and for the tags this these are the tags you can see the icon on the right hand side i'm just clicking on it select on the tags go to the tags and turn on the nasm tag right so i've just turned out all the tags and specifically turn on the ortega miasmatic tag so the first one is sora the second one is psychosis and the syphilis and you are having the numbering so one for sora two for psychosis and three for syphilis right and they are having different kind of colors also so i'll just quickly save this setting and i'll just move to yeah so we need to <coughs> restart the software because i have just done these settings let me just save it okay perfect so i've just done the tag setting that's why we need to restart the software because it's a setting and tags will be available the next time we'll be opening the software so make sure you are turning on your tags for the ortega miasmatic analysis okay it's taking a little longer okay perfect the tags are on yeah now uh, for the ortega miasmatic analysis i'll be just searching a few rubrics for example uh, i want to take that so i'm just typing b I'm gonna search for that. Let me just quickly go into Adonis. Yeah. That's it. Perfect. Let me go to back. Yeah. Okay. Back me. I need to take pain. and i want to take paralyzed as if okay so i'm taking this few brick a few more also yeah add the sound on the tags and now you can see the tags in front of each and every rubric for example if i speak of this particular rubric back pain pinching pain and you can see there is a tag 3 that signifies that it is a syphilitic rubric right so i'm taking a few more taking mind chapter also let me take abuse being and let me take this one ailments from i'm taking this few break after being abused this one too and then i want to take female i want to take tumor i want to take ovarian tumor this left side of this so okay, taking this one and this one okay so we have taken seven view bricks into the clipboard for analysis now going to the analysis sheet and this is our analysis sheet and puja is coming as a top grade remedy for ortega miasmatic analysis i'll just 
quickly go into my optical miasmatic analysis tool and yeah okay as soon as you'll be clicking on the ortega analysis you will be able to see that the rubrics have been divided into each clipboard right each clipboard signifies of uh, each myelom for example the first clipboard is for sora second one is for psychosis third one is for syphilis and the last one will be having no tag so those rubrics will not be having any ortega miasmatic tag and now you can see that uh, there are two rubrics in sora three in syphilis no in, no rubric in psychosis and four three rubrics in no ortega tags let me see the analysis of this sheet and you can see two symptoms 25% of sora syphilis is 37% and similarly 37% having no tag so this is how you can uh, go for the case you can apply the syphilis approach first you can remove the syphilis myelom first and then you can of course work on the sora right so if i go into the syphilis uh, tag you can see coffee is coming as a top grade remedy according to the symptoms and sora uh, argentum nitricum is coming as a top grade remedy so now you can work on your ortega miasmatic analysis if you wish to save this analysis sheet what you can do is you can just click on the downward key and go to save current analysis you can save it as a new patient or you can also save it into an existing patient for the new patient you just need to fill up the basic information and you can just save it right this was about the ortega now coming to the warning cause and polar analysis and for that you specifically need to work on Therapeutic pocket book. Let me just clear all clipboards so that we can work on Bonnegusen polar analysis and move to Bonnegusen therapeutic pocket book. <coughs> okay. Okay. So you need to work on Bonnegusen uh, pocket book for polar polarity analysis. You can find this book in here. You can see there are two books that which we have updated: the original one and then the polarity analysis one. right uh, in the polarity analysis one also make sure you are uh, your tags are on and specifically the polar tag polarity tag should be on so just move downward here you can find the polarity tag in the tags right go to the tags and make sure this is open right this is not closed okay so it's already checked in my software so what we do in polarity analysis basically we analyze the rubrics which have completely opposite polar symptoms right for that i am just going into my mind chapter of therapeutic pocket book i am going into memory and taking active let me just quickly check why i am not able to see the polarity here yeah so here you can see that we have this uh cubics mind and sensorium intellect comprehension easy and fast you can see it has a polar symptom that is difficult you have comprehension easy to which the polarity is difficult if you click on this yin and yang icon difficult you will be landing up on the polar opposite symptom of this particular rubric which is mind sensorium intellect comprehension difficult right and you can find the polarity below it right so i'll be taking up this rubric for my analysis okay let me quickly take a few more rubrics for example uh let me go to the mind chapter let me take hopelessness or you can also take uh, mildness let me take mildness irritability so these ones are having polar symptoms right you can find the polarity with this yin and yang icon okay
right so we have taken three rubrics let me quickly take a few more rubrics uh let me go into the change aggravation uh breathing okay even this one is having a polar opposite symptom that is amelioration by and um, let me take amelioration by rising from stooping okay so we've taken five rubrics into our clipboard suppose you wish to take a few non polar symptoms for that i'm going into my memory and taking active vivid and taking one non polar symptom also so we've got six rubrics going into the analysis of polarity analysis and right now you are able to see the bonning gusen uh, polarity analysis on in front of uh, your screen so here let me just quickly brief you how you can sum up the repertorial totality right now silicia is coming as a top grade remedy so sum up symptoms sorted according to the degree is 5 right and then patient symptoms of 13 how because we've taken six symptoms here and there are five symptoms in here okay so the total is 3 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3 so how much is it 6 and 6 12 plus 1 13 so the total is 13 right so <laughs> there are five sum of symptom because one is lacking so 1 2 3 4 5 total symptom in account is 5 right polarity difference is 13 the larger the polarity difference the more indicated the remedy is since we don't have any total number in here so 13 minus 0 is 13 that's why silicia is coming as a top grade remedy right next to is is rustox a year you can see it is a second grade remedy and it is covering again covering five symptoms 1 2 3 4 5 5 and this one has been left out and then the total Is twelve three plus one plus three plus four plus one that is twelve. Here you can find that rising this particular symptom is the op opposite system is having four. So twelve minus four is eight, and that's why Rustox is coming as a second grade remedy, right? So this is how you can do the polarity analysis, and you can save this particular analysis also as a patient. Just click on the downward key and go to save current analysis, and you can save it. by the name and the consultation notes and this is how you can work on it so this was about the bongusen polarity analysis <laughs> and then we have the digroot uh, manual let me just quickly brief you about it so we've got four books under it you can see energetic package uh, module on the dar upar muscles nerve vertebra properties there energetic remedies <laughs> picture is there physical examination and observation in homeopathy textbook 2014 and it's it's late, it is the latest updated version physical and energetic examination of the homeopathic patient and how you can work on this is basically <coughs> excuse me let me just go to synthesis adonis okay so if you click on any remedy right just click right on it and you can go into the digroot energetic remedy picture so what this energetic picture module is doing it is showing you the <coughs> the vicinity the uh, action of the remedy on the muscles right for example aconitum muscles anterior ipsilateral muscle and you can see which muscle it is working subscapularis hypotonic right nerves which nerves it is working on this is how you can uh, like see the action of the remedies and you also have the other books in the reference section just type the group and you can see the books in here so we've given you four books one repository in the module right so this was about the the group philip module thank you so much for joining in have a great weekend to all the doctors in this session take care good night